the boys may not be under, be under control for some time. We have Alan Cox now standing by live at the scene. Alan? Pat, we're told here that 100 firefighters are still on the job in downtown Minneapolis, and there are dozens other police for crowd and traffic control. It is the largest, one of the largest firefighting efforts in the history of Minneapolis for one of the city's biggest fires. It was and is one of the prime pieces of Minnesota real estate. Part of it was coming down anyway, the old Donaldson's building. But firefighters quickly realized it would go well beyond that. The demolition wreckage served as a giant pile of kindling. First on the scene, a crew from Station House One interrupted in their Thanksgiving dinner. Their off-duty brethren had been doing the same. Eating turkey dinner. And uh, we turned on the news and we saw the fire and they said, General Alarm, come on, all men off-duty come to work. Report to work. And that's what we did. Is this unusual for you on a holiday? No, we seem to have big fires on holidays. They left to staff other fire stations. St. Paul and suburban departments helped out. More Minneapolis fire crews sped downtown. They pumped a wall of water on neighboring buildings. Flames couldn't breach the IDS tower, but heat could. It popped windows. Guests of the tower's Marquette Hotel were evacuated from their rooms. But the thousands of gallons of water were not enough to save the headquarters of Northwestern National Bank. Fire jumped to the upper floors of the building, the bank's administrative offices. The fire moved up in the high-rise and down toward the lower levels. All of our records, of course, are carried in duplicate, so those will have to be duplicated and will be costly and time-consuming, but will not uh, cause us any great problem. Beyond the equipment and records and money, the bank contained history, typified by an exhibit of the Jenny, the first airplane of Charles Lindbergh. It escaped the early stages of the fire, but smoke and water had poured into the exhibit area. Firefighters early on could not be sure holiday workers had escaped the bank. The people in charge of that side will be doing a search. We just found out about it right now, and the men are on their way over there to explain what and where they may be, if they are. And we will, they will institute a search at this time. Onlookers were drawn to the fire, some who'd been downtown to browse Christmas displays, some attracted by news reports or the eerie glow. One of the onlookers was the city's mayor, praising the emergency workers, but admitting the best they could do was keep the fire from spreading. When you think of the modern construction downtown, uh, you, you just don't expect a fire of this kind. It's not the word that uh, we have right now is not hard word on what the cause of the fire may have been. We do know that earlier this evening, authorities were looking for a man and a woman reportedly seen near the fire shortly after it began. Uh, we do not have official word that the fire is under control at this point, but from the mall side, all we can see is smoke. The flames of that block from the mall side have all disappeared. Uh, we're told by uh, the authorities that there has been no hard information yet on whether there were any casualties inside the bank building, but there's no indication of any at this time. Uh, the most serious injury we've heard of is a fireman who apparently wrenched his shoulder and is far from in serious condition. And also some of the merchants in the downtown area surrounding this block are here tonight trying to board up some of the windows that were blown out by the radiant heat and trying to contain the damage to their merchandise. But the indications for now are that the merchants in downtown Minneapolis will be open tomorrow on a regular schedule for what is the busiest retail day of the year. Pat? All right, Alan, thank you very much. Well, as he just mentioned, a bulletin was issued earlier regarding two possible arson suspects. Two people, as Alan said, were reportedly seen near the old Donaldson's building around the time the fire began, a man and a woman.